Hey guys, welcome back to my channel. In today's video, I'm going to be showing you how I make emulsified body butters. For the longest time, I have been so stubborn about this, about me sticking with my tried and true body butter recipe that happened to not be very heat resistant. My solution to that was just not selling it during the summer months. But as a business, that doesn't really make any sense. So I decided to take the initiative and formulate an emulsified body butter that doesn't melt during the summer, which has the beautiful buttery texture of a body butter mixed with the fast absorbing and silky qualities of a body lotion in one. <laughs> and I really think that I nailed that in this recipe. So if you're interested in seeing how I do this, then keep watching. So the scent of this body butter is going to be the earthy blend that I chose for my collaboration with Fizz Fairy. We will reveal the name soon, don't worry. But this scent is a mixture of eucalyptus and mint and a little bit of musk. It is just so wonderful. It's just a very refreshing, calming scent and I love it. And for colors, we're going to do a mixture of three colors in this body butter. It's going to be a mix of a light green, a pale blue, and a white. So for the light green, we are going to be using green grape mica from Fizz Fairy and Caribbean blue mica, also from Fizz Fairy. And the third color is going to be a white. So we're going to see a nice swirl of those three colors together. So the first thing we're going to do is combine our phase A ingredients, which is our waters and glycerin. I have here a large measuring cup and I'm using distilled water and aloe juice for my water portion. Aloe vera juice is perfect for summertime. Summertime is when we get our sunburns and using a cream that has aloe vera juice in it is so soothing. To these waters, we are adding glycerin, and glycerin is an amazing humectant. It draws moisture to your skin and is a great addition to your creams. So I have my waters and glycerin measured out. I'm going to put this into a hot water bath so that it can heat up. And now I'm gonna go ahead and measure out my oils and emulsifiers. The emulsifier that I'm using today is emulsifying wax in combination with BTMS 50 and settle alcohol. So that was my emulsifying wax right there. Next is my BTMS 50. And this uh, ingredient smells funny, but you don't smell it in the final product. <laughs> it kind of has a weird fishy scent to it. But the reason why I love BTMS 50 in my creams is because of the silky finish it gives them. It's so wonderful. And next I'm going to add Cetyl Alcohol. And like BTMS 50, when using a cream, it makes your cream application so smooth and dreamy and leaves the most perfect powdery finish. Next we're gonna measure out our butters and this is where the butter portion comes in, in a body butter. And there's a higher amount in this body butter than there would be in a traditional lotion which will give it its, a nice fluffy consistency, you'll see. So my butters today are shea butter and cocoa butter. Shea butter is amazing in your creams. It's moisturizing and doesn't clog any pores. And now we're gonna add a little bit of cocoa butter as well. And cocoa butter is a nice stiff butter that adds some body to your cream, but it's also a fast absorbing butter as well. So here's our lovely cocoa butter. So for the longest time, I've been resisting making emulsified body butters and instead just been stubbornly sticking to my usual body butter recipe that melts during the summertime and just not really wanting to change. And I thought that's silly. And that's why I made the leap into the emulsified body butter world because it does suck to have to pull a product at a certain time of year and remember to bring it back. I think it's much nicer to have a product that you can have the entire year and maybe just have it as a blend of your lotion and your body butter. Just have one product. <laughs> now that we have measured out our butters, we are going to go into our oils, starting with our coconut oil, which is a great oil for moisturization. It does have a tendency to clog pores, which is why it's more suited to a body cream as opposed to a face cream. And we're using a refined coconut oil today. If you want to choose an unrefined coconut oil, then it will smell strongly of coconut that will carry over into your creams. So for liquid oils, we are using hemp seed oil, apricot kernel oil, and rosehip oil. I absolutely love hemp seed oil. It is my fave light, fast absorbing oil. And I like to use the unrefined version because that green is just Oh, it's heavenly. And the thing is about unrefined hemp seed oil, the scent, which if you smell this, it is 
an earthy scent that doesn't carry through into my cream products. So this is great. But if you don't want to use hemp seed oil, you can sub it for literally any other fast absorbing oil sweet almond oil, avocado oil. I also really like apricot kernel oil. It's really light and plays well in almost all products you make with it. Very, very light. And to add a little bit of luxury, we are also adding some rosehip oil. Rosehip oil is so dreamy as an oil, has amazing properties. It's much lighter than apricot kernel oil. Let's see, it just, it moves around there so easily, almost like water. And you don't need too much of it either. Whenever I use luxury oils, I always feel like the littlest bit makes a huge difference, which is good because they're expensive. So here are my emulsifiers, butters, and oils. I'm going to now put this in a water bath and have this melt down until it reaches a little over 160 degrees Fahrenheit. And once my oils and butters and my waters come to that temperature, we are going to combine them. While everything is melting and heating up, we can mix some of our cool down ingredients. I'm adding more goodies to this cream, starting with some panthenol. I love panthenol in my hair products, on my creams. It is such a lovely product. You can see here it's in a powder form. It just feels so silky when you add it to cream products. Another amazing skin loving ingredient is allantoin and we're also adding this to our cream today. Allantoin draws moisture to your skin. So now that we have our dry powdered facey ingredients, we're gonna add some of our liquid facey ingredients. Starting with hydrolyzed oat protein, another amazing product to use for hair and cream. And my favorite hydrolyzed protein is oats. I just find it so moisturizing and soothing on skin. It is fantastic. I also really like rice, hydrolyzed rice protein. Next we're adding a cucumber liquid extract. And this is gonna be amazing in this cooling cream. Working alongside that aloe vera juice. It's just gonna feel so nice if you've been out in the sun for too long. I'm gonna mix these guys until they turn into a bit of a paste. And this I'm going to add to my emulsification once I get to that point. But it's good to prepare it early and have it waiting on the side so you're not doing too many things at once. So we have our oil phase and our water phase at about the same temperature. This is completely melted. So now all we have to do is combine them and emulsify them together using our stick blender. So I'm going to first pour the water into the oil. And then we're just going to emulsify this all together. Tap your stick blender on the bottom to release any bubbles. And then just go for it. So I stick blended my emulsification together for a little over a minute. And it's still a little bit too warm to add some of our cool down ingredients. So I'm gonna let this cool down a little bit longer. And as it cools down, it's going to start to thicken into a nice body butter consistency. So let's just let this cool down for a while and we'll keep checking in on it um, after every couple minutes or so. So the body butter has cooled down to about 115 degrees Fahrenheit, which means it's cool enough to add our cool down ingredients. So I have our little slurry here of cool down ingredients. I'm just gonna add it right into my body butter. And to really incorporate it into the body butter, I'm going to stick blend this again for about a minute. So now I'm going to add my fragrance oil and my preservative. Because there is water in this body butter, we definitely want to be adding a preservative to prevent mold from growing in our body butters. My preservative today is Optifin Plus. It is a great broad spectrum preservative. And I'm gonna add my fragrance oil. Mm, that smells so good. And for a slight cooling effect, I'm going to add just a little bit of peppermint essential oil. So I'm just gonna add this to my body butter and then stick blend this again for another minute to fully incorporate everything. So I finished blending and it's definitely thickening up. 
but we want it to be much thicker than this. So we are just going to leave it alone again for a bit longer. And then we're gonna come back to it once it's completely solidified. So some time has passed and you can see that the consistency is thick and so luxurious looking, very fluffy already. But the more you stir it, the more fluffy it gets. And the next step that we're going to do is to color it. And to do that, I'm going to split it up into three containers and add my mica. Now we're going to add our colors. Here is that beautiful bright green. Just going to add about a quarter teaspoon. And for the blue, we're just going to add less than that because we don't want it too colored. Now we are just going to mix that up until you get a nice, beautiful pastel color. It is just the most beautiful texture. I'm going to give the white a little bit of stir as well. Again, just to make it a little bit fluffier. And then we're going to mix our blue. And this one, I think I'm gonna need a little bit more mica. So I wanted to show you a little bit closer up the consistency that I have here for the body butters. And it's literally like icing. And the color is to die for. So now, that we have everything at the consistency that we want. We're just going to pipe it into our jars and that's it. So to pipe, I have parchment paper. I do plan on getting press and seal at some point, um, but right now we're just gonna use the parchment paper. It still, it still works. It's not the best, but it still works. And I'm just going to arrange the cream, the different colors in a line, mostly it's gonna be green and then white and then blue. And when it comes to laying the colors down on your either, whether it's press and seal or this, you wanna make sure that all of the colors are touching the sides of the paper. Because if you put white in the middle, you roll it up, you're not gonna see it from the sides and you're not gonna get the effect that you want. So I'll show you what I mean in a bit. So there's our line of green. We're going to do a small line of white. Again, make sure that it's, you have it touching the side or you have it touching your piping tube thing. <laughs> I don't know what to call it. My vocabulary is not the best. And then lastly, we have our beautiful blue. It has the consistency of cake icing, which is perfect for piping. Now what we're going to do is to roll it up and you want to bring all that lotion to the middle. And what you're going to be making here is just a wrap pretty much. <laughs> and I have my piping bag here already. So you just slide your wrap into your piping bag. And now we're ready to pipe. So I have these eight ounce flat, shallow plastic jars. And what we're going to do is just pipe our body cream into the jars. Start there and then go from the sides. And this is how it looks. We're gonna give it a tap to get rid of those air bubbles. And look how gorgeous and dreamy this cream looks with all those colors. So here are my piped body butters, and as you can see, the colors came together so beautifully. It's 
such a gorgeous, subtle gradient of color. You can see the blue here and a bit of white. Same with this, oh, that looks really cool as well. And the texture of it is just so amazing. Oh, and the best thing about these guys is you have the wonderful moisturizing properties of a body butter, but you can ship them during the summer. And because they're emulsified and they have water in them, they're not as greasy as the body butters I used to make, which were just oils and butters and a little bit of arrowroot. I can't wait to bring this to my shop because I know that this, this is a good product. <laughs> so to use this cream, you just simply put your finger in there and oh my God, it looks so fluffy and amazing. And you just rub it on and it just glides on like a dream. And because it's emulsified, it absorbs very quickly, just like a lotion would, but you have all the amazing moisturizing properties that a body butter would have. I thought it was a lot when I put it on my arm, but it actually absorbed so fast and my hands feel lovely and silky, not greasy. It is just wonderful. And the scent of mint is so cooling and refreshing. I love it. This. I love this emulsified body butter so much. With my other body butter that wasn't emulsified, the day after making it, it got just a little bit stiff, but this emulsified body butter stays that soft whipped consistency even the next day, which is amazing to me. And the best part is I don't have to pull it from my shelves. I could sell it all year round. And the fact that it's scented in this eucalyptus mint scent with cooling peppermint, Oh, it's just gonna be so wonderful for summertime. I am obsessed with this product. If you are interested in buying this emulsified body butter, it will be available in my shop as of May 15th. That is what I'm aiming for. If you want the recipe and wanna make this gorgeous emulsified body butter yourselves, I have it on my Patreon, and that is linked in my description box below. Speaking of my Patreon, thank you to all my patrons. You guys are just so amazing and wonderful and generous, and without your support, I would not be able to make videos at the pace that I'm making them, and you really just encourage me and also inspire me. So thank you so much, especially my bubble BFFs. These guys are just so amazing. Thank you from the bottom of my heart. You guys are just the best. So until the next video, keep smiling, keep being awesome, keep making beautiful, amazing things like emulsified body butters, and I will see you in the next one. Bye guys. Bye.